Yo, so this is Journal E Dose of the uh, Black Sheepscape Goat series. Okay. So I want to touch on, we want to go back to the age of 16. I don't want to, I'm not going to say no names because I want to be incriminated. This story isn't to incriminate anyone or to belittle or embarrass anybody. It's to just state my truth and to hopefully lead a soul to peace and to inspiration because of my testimony. So at the age of 16, um, my stepmother, I was coming out my room and my stepmother was about to, my second stepmother was about to basically beat my two little sisters at that, that age of like three and five or whatever. So I came out of my room because I heard her being very mean to them, right? So all I could say is, you will not be putting your hands on my sisters. They're not your kids. I said, but you could beat me instead. Go Listen, <laughs> this crazy woman jumped on me. Look, start punching in my eyes and shit. So guess what I did? I let her. I didn't even fight back. But as soon as I, as soon as I knew she blacked my eyes, I threw this bitch off of me, okay? I went to go call my dad and this bitch bit me, bit my hand. Hello? So, this is when I called the cops and made a report on her. After this day, the cops came. They said that I could either mess up her military career or I could choose to just leave the state, go stay with my auntie in Atlanta and wait till my dad come back from PLDC because they knew she was gonna mistreat me. Left this woman there with my sisters and because I had a loyalty to my father at the time, I decided to not mess up his wife's career because that's how I'm cut. So listen, ever since this day, <clears throat> It ain't been cute for me, okay? But it's the God in me, okay? It's he, Jesus marked me as a kid. So let me tell you, it's many situations like this, okay? So now, years later, my sister, who is my dad's daughter, whose name is Chantel, decided to tell me that the reason that she's not allowed to fuck with me. Mind you, Chantel is my first stepmother's daughter. She is unable to talk to me or deal with me because of who I am and my lifestyle. Let me explain something to about this situation. My dad was always absent, so he left me with this stepmother who was just very abusive, the first one, okay? Which he had two daughters by. Excuse me. You know what I'm saying? She had a girlfriend, a lesbian, whose name was Sean. My sister was meant to be her baby with my daddy's sperm, hello? These people done told this little girl that because they didn't want her talking to me because they know I'm facts. I, speak, I, I spit facts. I'm not gonna lie to nobody. If you don't want nobody to state the truth, live with spiritual moral integrity, but don't hate me because I do, right? So this is a scapegoat black sheep. Let's force the blame and put the blame on the good, good guy. I didn't do nothing to nobody, none of y'all. Sean was a good woman. She was a lesbian, she was a stud, and she was my first stepmother's girlfriend. And Chantel was meant to be her fucking daughter. Period. That's why her name is Chantel. Hello? But they kept her away from me and badmouthed me so she wouldn't know. But that's my problem. But truth be told, Sean was a realist. And that was the realest bitches I knew 
at a young age. And I'm I'm being real with y'all. Listen. But it was my lifestyle that made you not want to deal with me. Right? Then <laughs> I told my dad everything. I'm the I'm the bad guy at this age, right? So daddy gets the new stepmother. Thought it was going to be different. My dad owned the karaoke business. Mind you, that his two boys started with him. No, no, no woman. His two, his two boys that he left hanging for a woman. Listen, <laughs> we coming home from the damn karaoke bar. Guess who T-boned us in the middle of the fucking street at the red light? With her van and a fucking gun with my two sisters in the car. The first stepmom holding a gun to the car. Look, I'm sitting in a I'm sitting in the car like this bitch about to shoot me first. Had nothing to do with me. But I was the honest one, so I was the one that was real with my father. But it was all flipped. And now the step monster got a problem with me because I'm spitting facts. Everybody got a problem with Jamil. Because I'm living with spiritual moral integrity. You, you hear what I'm saying? So the moment. Oh, yeah, she 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 jumped into the house and found the new stepmother's panties. And for some reason, that was my fault. Girl, listen. Everybody got a problem with Jamil, right? So listen, I used to keep a journal as a kid about all the abuse and things from a young age. I had a dog that was my puppy since the age of like three from Germany. The second stepmother looked me in my face and told me, I'm going to be the only bitch in this house. Baby, I got home from school. She sold my dog. A deaf girl was at the door to come pick up my dog. <laughs> Listen. So I begged my dad for years to get me braces. Saved up money. Baby, we went to go get a bite of his woman a fur coat at the age of 13. Guess who paid for their own braces at the age of 15? Me. Guess who only had $20 for their prom? And nobody helped me. Me? Guess who ran away at 16 and was actually forced to come home because motherfuckers was scared? Me? So, 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 listen. As the black sheep and scapegoat, baby, I've been the bigger person. Period. But coincidentally, the two sisters I told you about, one is in prison for 223 years. The other one, I don't know. She still believing probably whoever and doing whatever. But baby, let me tell you something. Thank you. Because all that, all that little pain that y'all be giving black sheep and scapegoats, baby. <laughs> that's encouragement. It's all in perception, baby. That pain and turmoil y'all put scapegoats through <laughs> baby that's just the beginning y'all be and y'all stay encouraged listen and if you need me you call me dm me whatever baby just because you're not the majority does not mean you're the problem okay so here's this little girl who could have a bond with her brother now fucking don't like me because of what Everybody done said to her because they don't want to hear the truth. They don't want her to know the truth. Understand? Okay, and this is just a little bit. This is just the surface. But Spirit told me I needed to be transparent with y'all. Because I'm here. It ain't here to demean nobody, put nobody down because I'm blessed, baby. I mean, I ain't here. It ain't about none of that. Spirit told me I needed to be transparent with you, beautiful souls. Because my testimony is why I've been chosen. 
there's a big issue with what I'm talking about in current times and revelations. Listen. This same stepmother, the second one, by the way. So we're sitting at a table. She asked me, why are you so blessed? Oh, no, no. She said, you think you perfect. Baby, I don't think I'm perfect. I want to be like God. I want to be like Jesus. And to me, I'm far from perfect. But baby, thank you. At a young age, I'm not understanding why the fuck she even saying this type of shit to me. Why her husband is sitting right there looking dumb as fuck. Okay? Hello? Listen. <laughs> Girl, listen. That ain't even it. That's just a little piece. This woman went to her family and everybody else talking about I had AIDS, baby. That my dad was going to take me off his will. That all types of stuff. Legit, her family, the one that came to me and told me to watch out for her. That's how God work. Listen, because I won't be defeated. <laughs> Hello? You could take me off that wheel, baby. And guess who she's still with? Her husband. Not my father. She's with her husband. Listen, baby. Mind you, the father wouldn't be shit without his kids, his two boys. But baby, we don't even know who this man is. Any woman or man that makes any father or mother lose focus, are they babies? Baby, they not the right one for you. Not all step parents are bad, but listen, get it together, my people. Again, that's just the surface, baby. Don't feel sorry for me, baby, because I made it. I'm here. Again, this is testimony. I love y'all. And I want y'all to be, I want y'all to succeed because nine times out of 10, those of y'all going through or dealing with the things that I've been through, y'all special. And I love y'all. You pray. That spiritual support system is there. And the same ones that kept you down when they was in the flesh is rooting for you in the spirit. I promise you because they see you. But anyway, that's just the surface. I just left the gym. I'm hungry, thirsty. Listen, that's number two. Again, this is not to incriminate nobody. This is not to throw shade. I want need everybody to be happy at peace and unity, baby. <laughs> we get it. Bam. But again, this is to lead souls because at any moment I could have OD'd. I suffered from, I, was, I didn't love myself. I didn't know who I was. They left me alone. I was date raped before. I OD'd a couple times again. Alone. Listen. Okay. Watch my brother die at 19, come back alive, disabled, because of poor parenting, which drew me left. Listen, y'all be careful, be safe, baby. And them codependencies. I don't give a fuck if they your parents, whoever. If they don't if they don't bring spiritual growth to you and help you get closer to Jesus, they're not for you. And if you part of any any listen. If you're part of any church and you go to a church for help and they still got this so-called <laughs> deacon, <laughs> baby, and nobody's correcting nobody, it's a problem out here, baby. Don't shoot the messenger, but baby, since since it's a problem being using spiritual moral integrity, um, 
guess what, baby? You, I'll be the bad. I'll be the bad guy. I will. I will be. But you know what? I'm gonna use my heart. I'm, I'm gonna lead as many souls to peace, love, and God that I can with my blood, sweat, and tears. All right. Y'all stay encouraged. That's oh, I gotta go run your mouth, run my mouth, and talk y'all ears off. This is journal number two. I mean, uh, entry number two for black sheets and Lena's curses and um, scapegoats. Okay, true stories here. You know what I'm talking about? I I got no reason to lie to nobody. I had to pause a little bit so y'all can see. I'm telling the motherfucking truth, baby. And that's just the surface. Oh, it feel good to be sober. <laughs> Come on, Jesus. I love y'all. Namaste. <laughs>